Welcome to another part of Muppet Party Cruise. So we're doing the third board, Quality Cabins, which I'll be doing as Animal because, man, we gotta get through all these guys, and all I have left really is Animal and Pepe. So here's Animal. So Quality Cabins, Quality Cabins is, you know, the five mark. See. But Quality Cabins actually has a board spot, a new addition that is probably the best one and like the most fun one, like the most interesting one. One that can actually change the game in a way. An ATM machine or an automated trouble machine. You can basically use this to essentially still favor some other players or still like two thirds of credits on other players or swap positions or like all sorts of stuff really. And it's great. It's honestly like the spot where things can change, like things can get interesting. Um, too bad you have to go to a spot where an ATM is. So unfortunately, it's really fucking pointless. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead into a red door and we're gonna begin uh, some red door times. Which the red door is right over here. It's time for tickling the ivories. So I'm tickling the uh, my ivories. You can tickle yours. Play by the numbers. Get the ball in the pocket of the biggest number before it moves away. Shut up and enjoy a little rag time. It's basically a game where you have to shoot a golf ball into a hole. Now it could be worth 99, 25 points for the good stuff, or nine to one point for the rest. So. You want to get the stuff that is big, but the problem is aiming in this one is awkward. Everybody shoots in this like X plus sort of pull table here, and it's like a little uh, thing here to bump on. You only get like about a few seconds to really do much, and the problem is, as you can see right now, all there is is a bunch of nines, and then that actually appears right there. And the thing is about the uh, excellent. The fucking uh, bonus there for the 25 there right now. You have to aim it just right in order to get a good bounce going. And the problem with this is not only does the AI kind of fuck your shots up, but trying to aim is awkward because it's very sensitive. Like, I'm just moving it just a little bit of an inch, and he animals moving a good bit. So it's like. It's very sensitive to move the cue around, and it makes it kind of difficult to really aim. And, uh, yeah, it's not a fun one. It's definitely not a fun one, and I didn't win this time. This one actually has some challenge, and I actually don't mind it too much. It's just... It does have problems, unfortunately, and because of those problems, I can't really say this is a good one. This minigame, like, it, it gets stupid. But if you can figure out how to aim good with it and can, like, not get fucked with it, uh, it's honestly, like, pretty fine. And uh, here's the thing, even if you do really good, the AI can get really lucky by random of, like, just having that ball go to a hole, like, as soon as it spawns to a 99 and getting a big fucking score out of it and basically, you know, winning the game. So, you know, it can be cheap. But for us, I lost even though we all scored very low. Nice shooting, Pepe. So yeah, uh, the AI isn't exactly the greatest of that one either, but still, it's it's not fun. Anyway, uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of some more shit uh, with another mini game, I guess. Hopefully, oh, I think we are gonna get another mini game. It's a red one. Mini 
Each beaker needs to be filled with a pre precise me mixture of chemicals. If the wrong chemicals are added, boom. If your mixture is right, check it and blah, blah, blah. Notice how Beaker did say chemical imbalance. Like, he does, like, go me, 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 and all that, but he, he can't have moments of actually saying something. Anyway, for this one, accuracy and speed does count, and you can actually end it quickly uh, before anyone else is pressing the X button, which I didn't do until later on. Doesn't matter, though, because all you have to do is just fill it up to the bar. It's, um... Kind of funny how simple this is, and once I figure it out, yeah, let's just say I I end up winning every time. It's not hard to fill up to the line quickly and not get fucked. It's easy to get fucked by getting it wrong, but even though speed's great and all, you don't need to speed too much to actually take care of it. You can just do what I'm doing, it will still win. Because the AI isn't too good at really being accurate with those shots. And if you can be accurate, you'll always get about 70 or more while they don't. And it's kind of sad. So yeah, easy minigame. See, that's usually how our uh, Beaker talks, but there are moments. There are moments. Anyway, uh, now to go ahead and just watch Miss Piggy move around a little bit. Right to her green door, of course. And it's an auction. You know, even though I know how the auctions work now, it's still a fucking boring ass bit, don't you think? Like... It's just kinda... bland, really? Anyway, Miss Piggy wins because I can't really fight her, so... See? I mean, I could. Had I, uh, you know, play it smart, but I didn't. Anyway. Pepe, what are you gonna do now? Who leaves money floating around like this? He's going for a blue. Time for shuffle chalk. Ah, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Shuffle chalk. Uh, okay, well, you already know all about this one. I don't even need to really say anything more about it. You're doing well. I mean, so glad I could inspire you. that's the problem with this game. There's so little mini games. It's just like you keep getting the same ones, and it's just really boring. Go, go, and not go, only go, that, go, go. but being forced to get a new board by unlocking three mini games by getting as many favorites as possible, that. Uh, that just sucks ass, honestly. I'm gonna rest my head on this pillow for a bit while this goes through, because seriously, there's nothing more to say about this. It's just fucking shuffle chalk. And it only really matters when you get to round three of the times ten, so it's like... It's just a shit... Fucking mini game. Losing my patience. <sighs> God. Just get it over with already. Oh. What a disappointing mini game. There are a number of shit mini games in this game, and it's really sad. Boy, Mario Party knockoff game, it's not, it doesn't have a good lineup of games at all. It's just pathetic.
I still win. And Animal gets the prize. And we get out of the way. <laughs> the way, the way he just said it. We get out of the way. <laughs> oh, man. Howdy, partner. There's definitely some character coming in of a lot of these characters that I don't think is ever really present anywhere else. Like, at least not very common, at least. Anyway. Just, uh... Yeah, here we go. We got a free... Don't worry, I got a blue. Hooray for free party favors. Which are great, because they mean you don't have to do a fucking minigame for them. You just walk into them and boom. The AI can do the same, because if they're not going to win any minigames, they might as well get one for free. Would you like some coffee? I think you'll need it for beach speeders. I mean, we didn't get this one for a while, and beach speeders can actually be kind of fun because it's like um you remember the the end bonus levels in Muppet Race Mania where it's like overhead and such? It's kind of like that. It's basically an overhead thing. And it's actually fine. It can be fun. If they had more than one track, you know? If they um, randomly gave you a different track every time you do this mini game, so that you don't have to like do the same thing over and over again, this can honestly be a really fun mini game. But because you always get this one track and that's it, it's. it's shit. I mean, the only good thing is that it controls fine, and th there is potential here for this to be good. But the problem is, the potential is already realized by Base Mania, and like, this is like a very lacking version of what you would get in the end levels of Muppet Race Mania, and that's just pathetic. What I'm saying is that this mini game, and a lot of this game, are kind of pathetic. There are some moments of good stuff, but ultimately, it's just trash. I outlapped every single one of these guys. Fucking bitch slapped. You've always been my favorite animal. Cheers. Anyway, let's move on forward, shall we? Miss Piggy, what are you going to do next? You're going to eat shit. Well, actually, you're not because you have credits right in front of you, so you still can move. Are you going for a blue? Ooh, you nearly did. Well, let's see what Pepe is going to do for us. He gets another try if he goes. Yeah, he's going for another try. Again. <laughs> we were <all> at one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Seriously. Pepe. Pepe's deliveries are great. He's a fun character. I don't see how anyone can ever hate this guy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, I love you, Swedish chef, but this mini game isn't that good. It's just kind of meh. And of course, I will annihilate this one like the boss I am. Seriously, like. <sighs> I don't have anything really to say about this one either, honestly. Like, you already know what to do here. I've told you all you need to know. It just all comes down to not getting fucked by AI and, you know, just keep going left and right. 
hoping they shoot in the middle zone because then you can pretty much dodge them easy. And if that happens, you know, it can be kind of cheap, but expected in a way. And I win. I win by a, a good mile. Turn into hippie I don't even know what the fuck that meant, dude. I'm fresh you said animal, but it just sounded like it's a lovely day. Oh, it's And nothing from them, okay. I don't think we'll ever see anything from uh, Bunsen or Beaker in any of these boards. I don't know what they do, I forgot completely. Anyway, let's see what I'm going to do here as Animal. I'm going to make a big move around for that one little thing. Uh, if I go left, that's two, then one. I'll just go forward, I guess. Blue time! This is really hard. Not the game, but talking about the game. Okay, well, it's time for Pixie Party. And you already know what Pixie Party's like. It's another one where I'm just gonna sit back and relax because it's so basic bitch levels that I don't need to talk about anything about it, honestly. Again, the AI could be assholes by, you know, popping in for like a split second and fucking off and such, but, um... The hatches, the otherwise, it's super easy. I don't think you'll ever really fail this one unless you get super unlucky because the AI decided to spit out a whole bunch of credits and, uh, you didn't bother. And they still won by like, one point because of that. It can't happen. Just the AI can be a little cheap like that. But you can be cheap too to prevent that. By simply going um, close to the middle zone of the credits, you can basically defunct them on that bullshit if you do good. Otherwise, just go more than them if you want to really beat them on every spot. I don't really need a bother because I kicked ass. Animal, you did it. No, no, stop. Stop. Really? I'm not gonna listen to the jokes because I, I don't really care. Gonzo time. Let's see what Gonzo is gonna do for us. I'm king of the world. Really now? Well, you gonna have a lot of move going on. He's going straight for randomizer, which our random one is a red door. Okay. It's crustacean crush again. All right, we're getting this one again. I will talk about the AI for this one, I guess. The AI is pointless. Uh. You see, they'll move back and forth a lot, but if you have a crab, or if you're going near a crab, or just if you're walking around, they're gonna smack you. They're gonna chase you and smack you. Unless they have a crab in which they're gonna start running around a little bit and try to go back and forth onto the fish. If the fish is already eating, the AI goes up to the fish, goes back to the middle, and then back to the fish. You'll see it a few times every now and then, throughout every time we play this. But, um, yeah. Ultimately, uh, the best way is if there's no crab you can really get, which shouldn't be the problem at all, it's, you should be able to get a crab immediately. Uh, usually the AI will have crabs, so just go up to them, smack them, it's not that hard to do so, and you're good to go. Do not focus on smacking them, though. Always focus on crabs, because it's much better than smacking enemies. See what I mean? Much better than just smacking them around. Animal is champion. This Animal is champion. 
Imagine if we literally just got nothing but commentary from Pepe, uh, from, uh, Pepe the, ki the King Prawn. I mean, seriously. Like, he, he would be fantastic to just listen to the entire time, wouldn't he? Alright, this one again. There's kind of a cue for when you know you're hitting it at the right time outside of seeing the points, and that's that actually plays sound. Otherwise, it's silent completely, but if you're getting it right, it does play like a little, like, tropical sound. No stopping. No stop. But yeah, as you can see, it can get a bit stuck, and it's annoying. And it puts you out of your rhythm. And it's just not good. Um, uh, try harder. Nothing else I can really say about this one other than watch the AI and see how bad they're doing because they keep randomly just going anywhere. Doesn't matter where the fuck the button is, they just keep pressing wherever the fuck they want. They kind of go faster in their beans sometimes than you, which is unfair, but still. Fucking destroyed. Winner. Winner. <laughs> oh, so there's a high score thing. I don't think I'm ever going to be showing that, because it's like... Who cares? <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Pepe, where are you going? You're just gonna stand right there? Okay. Good move. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna do as animal. There's a good nine there, but I'm guessing... Ooh, okay, I got a four. Well, I can move a good bit. I can get another uh, party favor, which I will get, because it's green. Might as well. I need to get those party favors for the mini games. I need to, like, build that shit up. But yeah, remember, this is a longer one because it's five party favors. So we're going to be here for a little bit of a while. Um... So far, blue is my end game. Red's getting close though, and we're already doing a red. Natural disaster. What is that? And we're doing natural disaster. Okay. So if I win this, that means red and blue will both be uh, end game spots. I guess I can talk to you about how the hazards are like in this mini game. Your worst hazard is going to be the whirlwind here. To that little fucking uh, tornado there, like every fucking time. Like seriously, it can drown you into the water. It can take you away from the spots you want to go to. The AI can basically bump you into it, which sucks. Uh, the second worst hazard would be these. Uh, Ice cube things or whatever they keep appearing from the tap. I don't know what the fuck, but um They kind of push you, but they're very easy to dodge. So it doesn't really matter much And the last one is the uh, the sink itself when it's uh, you know pouring out water Where it pours out water can actually be a wall in a way um, again the the worst one to deal with is the fucking tornado. The the AI themselves can also be a shitty hazard, but again, tornado is the one you want to be careful of. Oh god, what a fucking uh Oh, I won? Okay. Who didn't see that one coming? It's animal. And now the weather. <laughs> I like how much fun non giving a shit that was there. Hooray, you won! Okay, now for something else. 
Okay, so, Piggy, what are you gonna do for us next? Nothing? Okay, thanks, Piggy. What about you, Pepe? Will you have something at least? Yeah, you kind of will. You'll be seeing it later on, by the way, but that, um, that pinball game thing, the little walls at the bottom, the ball can get stuck there. Not for long, but it can honestly get stuck there for a good bit, so... Yeah, a little bit stupid. Anyway, I got a free. Which isn't that bad, because I can just go left, grab that. I can go upwards and get like a fucking... Yeah. Or I can do that. However, now I'm going to yell and serve a blue. Then again, I don't want to end it yet. So, you know. You know what? What does this pad do? Oh, it's quicksand. That's quicksand, guys. So I lose a turn. Because I touched the metal plate that was quicksand, apparently. Okay. A lot of these hazards are easily avoidable, so it's just like... It's kind of stupid. Like... The whole board thing and its hazards is just really shit. <laughs> I mean, none of the AI is ever going to do the stupid shit you're going to be doing with the hazards. It's so dumb. Oh god, it's boring too when nothing happens, but something's happening. Thank you, Pepe. We got Green Door. Did you hear about the fish that played this game? Oh god, it's fucking the inner cycles again. Okay, well, I mean, you already know at this point, right? I don't have to say anything about this. I think, though, this might be where I actually start losing on this minigame, because the AI just really get in my way at this point. I feel like the AI does get sort of harder, maybe, as you continue on for the boards. Um, that's a long stretch. It might just be completely random, honestly, but... It does kind of feel like the more you repeat the minigames, the harder the AI becomes. That's just me. But I am guessing by a mile that's not the case, and it's just random on how the AI acts, which is stupid. And I'm pretty sure I've lost this one. I don't think I actually got many uh, of these greens, so... Yeah, I think I got the green this one. That would be Pepe. Way to go, Pepe. Good job, Pepe. There can be moments that the AI can be a challenge, but it's not a common thing. And there goes Beaker. Don't worry, guys. We don't have that much left. Also, I lost a turn of member. Let's see if the AI can end the game for us. He's got a nine, so, you know, he's a chance to go anywhere he wants. Come on, Gonza. Where you gonna go? Also, Jesus Christ, you're slow. Fuck's sake, the walking slow. Uh, why? You see what I mean about the back going back thing? Now it's beginning, but instead, what you're seeing is that they're trying to go back to the spots they've already done. It's stupid. It's so fucking dumb. The AI is just... I can't read these guys because they're so fucking stupid sometimes. 
And then there's sometimes really smart. And it's just, the ramness of this is just fucked. How can this be? Hey, Pepe got fucked, so that's sad. And, uh, yeah. Obviously, Piggy got an easy way out with a free one. Okay, so... With that, let's move on forward, because we can finally move again. I'm gonna get a bad roll. Yep. Well, I'm right in front, so I might as well get that. And then just, like, do this. I can't do anything else anyway. Alright, Gonzo, what are you gonna do now? Get a good roll again. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of Let's see what he's gonna do for us this time. Oh, that's a solid return. Moves around a little bit and goes to a red door. Is he gonna end it for us? I think he is. Welcome to my world. Neat. I don't mind living in your world, Bunsen. Even though it can be crazy. It's Bunsen's Burners. You already know what this is. You know, you shoot the shit. I don't know why I'm reading this. I already played this. I probably forgot. I'm probably starting to lose my fucking everything of this game. Because seriously, the game repeats a lot of these minigames a lot. And, uh... It, it, it can start being draining pretty quickly. But yeah, I mean, we already know this one, even though Bunsen here is fucking creepy up there. Seriously, look at this. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that blue thing there can't be destroyed, nor will it give you any points, so don't bother. Um, just focus on the reds and purples, which is easy to do. Honestly, it is. Just, you know, just keep moving around a little bit and keep firing and you'll hit them. The chances of missing are actually kind of not that common. They're pretty low. So, finding a spot to hit is not that difficult. It's just the hitbox can be a little awkward is all. And so is the music. And the game's over there. Cue trumpets. Animal wins. Yep. And I won the board. Thanks, gods. Gonzo. With 11 party favors, we win. Which means I got it down to 1 for 12. And then, I believe, mini games to 13. Oh, let's see about the other ones, though. Most cruise credits goes to Gonzo for pity. Most games lost to Gonzo for pity. Gonzo got the most fucked in this whole one, though he did get the most doors open. And then the Furious Pipe was just Gonzo again. I guess he was the best in like, yeah, he was the best in like the, the bonus stuff. And that's it. Animal wins. Here's a celebratory cutscene for Animal. Good job, dude. You're pretty crazy, but you're awesome. And there you go. Okay, so let's do some minigame unlocking now. So we got that one. Uh, what else can we unlock of our favors? Is there another 10 around here? Yeah, there is. Uh, asteroid belt. There we go. Unfortunately, we can't unlock anything else. Because uh, we have so little favors. Let's see if there's another 10 around here, though, to make it easy for us. Uh, well, no, at this point, I believe it's all 15, so, shit, let's just put our rest in the 15 here, and, uh, yeah, that'll have to do for now, which means that next time, 
we're gonna do the fucking quality cabins again in a part 3.5 as our final playable character, Pepe, the great, the king prawn. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we get to be Pepe. Huzzah!